gonna do something special. We're gonna go to a place that's real close to where I live. We're gonna be heading over to the Four Mile Cove. Uh, this is just a really beautiful place where you can see the mangroves are able to grow naturally the way they're supposed to here in Florida, protect our shorelines and, uh, and all the critters that live in that area. Um, it's just a really beautiful boardwalk that we have that's just right here in, uh, in Cape Coral. So close, it's like literally like only five minutes away and it's just a great place to go when you want to get out of the house and see some nature. So it did get uh, beat up quite a bit from the hurricane and was closed for quite some time before they could get the repairs. And besides that, a lot of the vegetation just took a huge beating. As you're going to see, some of the trees are going to be falling down, but you're going to see new growth um, taking place on what's fallen and what's dead, and nature's going to just keep doing its thing. So I'm going to grab some water, a hat, and uh, we're going to do this. I'm also going to be shooting in S-Log 3. I haven't been doing this, um, just out of me being chicken and not feeling super comfortable with it but it's time it's time to like get a little bit more real right so let's see what we can do with that i'm gonna bring the drone as well hopefully get some drone shots and let's have some fun let's get outside So here we are. You can still hear traffic because we are very close to Veterans Parkway, which runs right next to this. So like I said, this place is pretty much downtown, uh, right across the Caloosahatchee from Fort Myers. It's a pretty good little size area. Uh, and they've got some cool stuff to see here. As you're gonna be seeing, we're walking through areas that were heavily hit by Hurricane Eon. And in fact, it wasn't very many months ago when this entire place was just brown. So the fact that anything is green right now is so cool. And for those of us who live here, it just gives like, just a really good feeling of hope. Nature reminds us that uh, we can rebuild, we can start over and things will be okay. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of time, but uh, let's take a look around. One thing I love about Florida, we have a lot of these little hidden gems and parks and trails to live an active lifestyle. And uh, it's just great to be here and see other people taking part in it. I already passed like four or five people on a weekday, middle of the day, like 1030. And uh, people are out sweating, including myself. It is about 90 degrees. Which, a lot of humidity. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so this right here is a creek where you're gonna get the water coming in from the tide and it's mixing the salt water with the fresh water. So you're gonna get shellfish and other fish coming up in here, an occasional alligator, but it's bringing in the food. This tidal creek it feeds the egrets, the herons, different birds that you'll see around this area. It's pretty cool. You can also kayak through it. All right, so what we're looking at here are called burls. And they are just like a growth on the tree. It starts from an injury, uh, usually in combination with some insects and fungus. And they just start growing. It never kills the tree. They just keep getting bigger until the tree dies of natural causes. But uh, they look pretty cool. There's some more up here. This place is a pretty good spot where you can find manatees. Uh, it's so fun to run into them here. And dolphins as well. Seeing a lot of birds. It's nice. Nice to just get out and enjoy the animals. Not just the ones that we have at home, you know? All right, so this is the last part of the little trail. As you see, I'm just sweating. That's what you get for going out 90 degrees with a lot of humidity. We're probably up at 72, 73, something like that. But I just wanted to show that uh, we're just right across from Fort Myers. You'll see that just over there on the other side of the water. Let's see if I can zoom in a little. It's about as good as she gets on this one. But yeah, right over there is Fort Myers and can take that bridge right there veterans parkway over and then you'll get a little turn off where you can head on over here to the four mile cove So what a little fun break of the day, you know, this is just so close to the house. Reminds me why I live here in Florida. You know, we moved here for the beaches, but um, we're definitely staying for the nature and these trails and boardwalk trails that are all over the place that just make this such a fun place to live, you know? All right, so we'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Make sure and like and subscribe. That does help me, uh, at least keeps me motivated to keep doing this and uh, get keep getting out of my comfort zone, you know, and making these videos, which I definitely see as a win-win for myself anyways. And hopefully you've enjoyed hanging out with me as well. All right, take care.